of all Shem Tavenis students were once walking through Ukraine on a cold winter's day. In those days, the rivers and the lakes would freeze over into thick sheets of ice. And as they were walking, they saw a non-Jewish man carving out into the ice an idol for his idolatry. And the students were very disheartened by this. They thought, based on what they've learned from the Baal Shem Tov, that everything a person hears or sees or even smells is a message designated specifically for him. They thought that maybe they had done something wrong, something considered to be like idolatry in the eyes of Hashem. So they looked at the Baal Shem Tov and they said, what's the case? What have we done and how can we fix it? The Baal Shem Tov said to them that they're about to learn one of the most important lessons that every Jew should know. He said that in Torah, water is considered pure, it's sacred. It says that the waters flowed out of Eden and water the gardens of Eden. That water we know we use as a mikvah to purify ourselves and to purify Kohanim when they're impure. Water is even compared to the Torah, the Torah compared to water. So Baal Shem Tov said that even though water is so pure and has these mystical qualities, if you were to freeze it, to put it into very cold temperature, then you can use it for bad things, like idolatry. And it's the same with every Jew. A Jew needs to be in passion. They need to be on fire, like the burning bush. If you were to make them cold, desensitized to the world, to life, then they could be used for bad things, and all their passion could go to negative places. A Jew must always be on fire. A Jew must always have passion. And you should never let yourself get cold and desensitized to the world. This is what the Baal Shem Tov taught his students.